Hey guys, Lab Technician here. So I want to do a video series on Western blotting. I know that Western blotting can be a very, very difficult technique in the beginning if you have never done it before. So this is why I want to make um, two little videos that explain you the whole working process and show you everything in detail how to make wonderful blots. So I want to make two videos. In the first part, I want to show you how to prepare your samples and how to run an SDS gel. In the second video, I want to show you how to assemble the semi dry Western blot and how to analyze your data. I have already made a video on how to assemble a semi dry transfer blot, which just shows you in detail um, the little steps that you need to do in order to get very nice blots. You can find the video up here or here. I don't know yet. You can also find um, the content of the video series in the video description. Um, I have made a blog where you can find um, the video in written form. So whenever you're missing someone or you want to use it for your own experiments, you can print it out and uh, use it for yourself. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. The first task is to unpull the samples. I make sure that I prepare my materials and chemicals properly to ensure that my working process won't be interrupted. Next, you can see how I add four times reducing buffer to my samples. I dilute the buffer to one time. The second step involves vortexing the samples for 5 to 10 seconds. Next, I will incubate the samples for 7 minutes at 95 degrees Celsius. I put a weight on the samples because I want to avoid that the tubes open due to the pressure caused by the heat. In the meantime, I assemble the gel gasket. I fill the inner chamber with 1 times SDS running buffer to check if buffer runs into the outer chamber. If it runs out, I reassemble the gasket completely. When the samples are done, I spin them down in a mini centrifuge to collect the sample at the bottom of the tube. Next, I load my samples and marker into the slots. Try to be very careful at this step, spinning sample into a neighboring slot can ruin your experiment. After I finish loading, I stack the proteins for 15 minutes at 90 volts. Finally, I increase the voltage to 130 volts for 45 to 60 minutes. Now we have to wait and prepare for the assembly of the Western blood. Thank you so much for watching, I hope the video was helpful. If you want, you can watch the second part of the video where I show you how to assemble the western blot, incubate with an antibody and collect the data with an imager. See you in the next video.